Hello, Music Theory class. Mr. Sherest here. I'm here to just give you a tip about composing while using flat. The assignment that you're being given is to compose two different melodies using the same chord progression, but I've stacked the melodies here to keep things simple from, uh, from an administrative standpoint on my side so I can see both of your melodies in the same document. But it might be annoying uh, after you first compose melody one and melody one is complete, it might be annoying to attempt to compose melody two while melody one is playing or making additional sounds in the background. So there is a mixer inside this program and if you go up to the title bar here you can see this little speaker icon and the speaker icon allows you to use this this mixer and there's a couple options here one is that you can adjust the individual volume of tracks so let's say you only wanted to lightly hear the harmony you can turn that volume down and it's giving me options to restore the 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 default settings here but uh, what I mentioned before was that you can drop melody one while you're composing melody two. And so this is a mute function, just completely drops it out, and you won't hear the melody one part while you're listening back to melody two. Uh, alternatively, if you only wanted to hear one of these things, for example, just melody one, but not the accompaniment in the harmony part and not melody two, you can use this headphone button, which is often called the solo button. So you've got a couple options there. You can also see under advanced playback, there allows for some, um, some reverb, some reverberation, which is a light echo effect. And um, if you had many, many voices, you would also see all of the volumes for those voices as well. Okay, good luck composing. Have a great homework assignment. Let me know if you need any help.